Hello guys and girls, Gregster Reviews here. Some of you may recall my rant video, which uh, I still stand by. I'm not happy with the way Microsoft are going about our DX12 goodness and how our delivery system is being done. But it's only fair if I'm going to rant about something to know what I'm ranting about. So I purchased uh, Gears of War, the Ultimate Edition, and I thought I'd give it a try and see what's what. It's on the Unreal Engine, not too sure if it's UE4 or anything, uh, not looked that deep, but it's a, a remake of an old game, a remaster of an old game, and it's delivered via Windows Store only, so some of us who like to buy cheap keys, uh, that's not possible, you've got to buy direct through Microsoft, a bit of a shame, but at £22.79 I think it was, it wasn't too much to lose, and I get to try out this Windows Store and see exactly what is what so for that purpose alone I purchased it I wouldn't have bothered otherwise but as I say not too much to lose and uh, yeah when I fired the game up at 2560 by 1440 the uh, Microsoft intro was a, a slideshow at one frames per second in full screen the uh, cutscenes uh, one frames per second at full screen but quick alt and enter brings it to windowed mode and it ran fine shouldn't need to do that let's be be fair you, we play in full screen we don't want to alt and enter to bring a window mode just so we can get smooth intros and cutscenes but anyway I've fired it up at 1080p to do the recording as I couldn't record it any other way than with the uh, Avia Media LGP light so 1080p it is and once I put all the settings, restarted, it ran fine. It was uh, it opened up fine. There was no uh, one frames per se second slideshow. There was no stuttering. I, I've put it all to uh, full screen, as you see on the options menu. And uh, yeah, it was everything was smooth. G-Sync's working. I can tell that straight away with without even having to look at anything. Sadly, I've got no uh, overlays working whatsoever. I've tried Frax, I've tried Afterburner, I've tried uh, Precision X. Uh, nothing gives me an overlay, which is a bit of a shame because I'd like to see what frames per second I'm getting. But uh, yeah, can't see anything there. As you can see, it's. Uh, <laughs> well, you can't see because uh, you don't see the full benefits of G-Sync your end but my end it was absolutely smooth as butter it doesn't look particularly great um, it's nothing special it doesn't look bad don't get me wrong it's not a bad looker but yeah it's a it's an old old game and it does look a bit dated let's be fair but yeah DX12 anyway it's the first full DX12 game uh, Ashes of the Singularity was the previous one which is still in beta and considering myself a tech journalist it's only fair that I buy so you can see if you do or don't so that's my perspective on it I wasn't happy buying this game uh, especially with my rants about Microsoft but truthfully it's uh, it's once like I said at the 2560 by 1440 it was a uh, one frames per second slideshow on the very first opening that's the only time once I opened it again it was in full screen it was butter smooth so uh, yeah uh, no real teeth problems if I'm honest that's the only issue I've come across uh, I've played it for a good couple of hours but I was hoping to get a bit more play time so I can go a bit deeper but everything was just running okay it was fine uh, I want to hate it <laughs> obviously I want to hate it to back up my uh, ramp video but truthfully it's been okay it's yeah no problems at all so uh, I'll leave the rest of the game running it's got about another six or seven minutes to go and uh, I'll add some music because I forgot to plug in the the audio cable into the over media so I'll add some music and uh, if you want to watch, carry on. Music's courtesy of Alpha Records and uh, appreciate their free usage system. Thanks very much, guys. Anyway, bye for now and carry on watching the video. Oh, and if you like, please subscribe. I'm up to 300 subscribers now. Hey, get in. Bye for now.